11th hour on Radio Sri Lanka illustrates the rediscovery of the glitz and the glam of the nation's most prominent entertainers and eminent personalities from the corporate sector. Join us every Monday at 11 exclusively on Radio Sri Lanka. So then again, yes, it's another fantastic episode on 11th R. The industry that says fashion modeling is a highly competitive career, it would not be wrong to say that it is also a demanding career. As it is lucrative business, once a model is extremely well established, a lot of hard work, patience, dedication together with a strong determination are required to pursue a career in this field. An individual who wishes to commence a career in fashion modeling usually has to face many rejections and struggles since it's certainly essential that a committed person should strive to continue in the industry without giving up midway. Catwalks and portraits are mastered by this top model in Sri Lanka during fashion shows displaying carefully curated and ensembles for audiences in the fashion world. Today, together with me, on 11th hour, we have got Chira Padmendra Kumar Patirana. Very good morning to you. Very good morning, Sabrina. It's nice to see you. Nice seeing you too. <laughs> and there's so much to inquire with regard to the fashion industry, but then again, with the time frame, I have no choice but to stick to some standard questions. Sure. Uh, the life and the career of a model are certainly not at all about being glamorous. As it looks from the exterior for us, modeling is not just about having a pretty face. It is much more than that, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, Sabrina, because uh, especially nowadays, when you look at the pageants or the fashion shows, what they say is with the high technique, like, you know, the, with the plastic surgeons and all, if you have money, you can have any look you want. But the personality, it's within you. It builds within you. So now... In the industry, we more looking to building personalities, and for that, it, it takes a lot of time, and it's it's the background and how much hard work you want to put into it. So it's not just being pretty and walking up and down, and it's a daily routine. Like you have to work out and your meal plans and how you connect with your um, other maybe the designers, the photographers, the beauticians, and if you're planning to go internationally, how well you have international like you know you you have bookers that you book uh, there are models who book you locally but internationally also they have their own agents that you have to go and visit for that it's actually a lot of hard work nowadays because it's very competitive social media being there because we get like two types of models now like social media models you know who promote all these insta and facebook models but actually they are not really the models who do the runway for runway you need certain type of uh, height to the weight to the like you know sizing and all so it's about maintaining and knowing who you really want to be so, yeah, being a model is not really easy. And uh, you, you also touch based on something that uh, developing the inner uh, skill of portraying as yeah. a star class model is not easy. That requires training. Yeah. How do you work around with this attitude? Uh, well, <laughs> definitely you need training in the sense like when when it's come to fashion shows, it's it's a live thing. It's it's not uh, like picture shoots or maybe a recorded advertisement or something. You can always edit. But when you have to perform live, you need proper training because you can't have any mistakes on a runway. Like, you know, even changing clothes, you know, within a few minutes, like you know, a few seconds sometimes from head to toe, you have to change, like, including your shoes to jewelry, even sometimes the hair styles. Because when we work with different type of designers, they want different looks. So like in between, sometimes we ended up changing even the hair style. So for that, you need training and you have to be very confident on six inches minimum. So when you walk on the ramp and when the catwalk, especially you have to be trained under a good catwalk trainer. Well, again, I would like to rephrase that question because you handpick a group of people who are very young. So yes. when they're very young, telling them to do this and that would not be an easy task. <laughs> oh my God. So that takes some kind of an industry um, uh, in-depth knowledge from your perspective for them to get at it. So how do you handle this young blood and their attitude? 
to be trained as a star class model well uh, actually i'm i'm truly like blessed to work with kids i i love them because you know their energy is so um, amazing and you know i even sometimes i feel like i'm a kid but it's it's best to be you know uh, connecting with them is to know their how they feel and you know most most time when we train it's not just training sometimes emotionally we have to connect with them sometimes you know how they come with their boyfriend problems sometimes they say oh, my parents don't like this and but i must say uh, it's bit nowadays kids are uh they have their own vision what they want to be and all sometimes they do not want to listen to adults but what i do is i do not connect with them as a teacher i connect with them as a friend so they listen you know it's much easier to train something when i'm uh, like a friend and when i like you know crack a joke but when i'm sometimes i do i'm strict sometimes you have to <laughs> i have to i have to but and the discipline comes but most of the time uh, i do have underage like you know like under 18 kids but i actually promote like you know parents to come and watch what we do because nowadays when it's come when people say oh, modeling they have sometimes you know they i think you brought about a very exactly. important point you said that you invite the parents, parents to come and yes. witness what yeah. really goes yeah. uh, behind this entire yeah. business because sabrina i think safety matters. Us, you of know course. our kids I'm, i'm a parent so you know i should know what my son is up to when i'm not around and the same way i want uh, you know i encourage their parents to come and watch what they do even to be in the backstage sometimes if, if their show is come, as long as they're not going to disturb and so the parents are happy and they do support the kids that's what we need you know if they want to be a model you know being a model you know sometimes people say are you what are you going to do with that but if you take uh, apple Oh, uh, uh, Steve Jobs. Even his daughter is one of the supermodels at the moment who's working on the Paris Fashion Week. So it's a highly paid job, and you know you have as long as you know how to do how the job. How to do the job? Exactly. So, yeah. So interesting indeed, of course. Uh, and the major uh, prerequisites to become a fashion model are being photogenic and having the right kind of attitude. I'm certain you can add more insights to this point. Yeah, uh, supermodels like you know normally they walk all the fashion weeks from New York Fashion Week, London Fashion Week. First thing, I think you have to be focused and you have to be hard working. People do think it's a very easy job, but it's not. You have to break rest, and there are certain uh, well discipline when it comes to your meal pa- plans and when you're working because most of the time you work with a group. of people and group work is very important and because you have to satisfy everyone around there and your mood even if you're like you know if i have taken a job if i'm taken a show i can't say i am sick i can't put sick leave because those designers they do like you know take months sometimes to do that design on that model and they visual that model in that dress so we cannot say that we are sick unless you are really dying <laughs> in the hospital uh, you have to be there you have to and you know you have to work you have to show and show up. up and the thing is it's just not showing up you have to look good also at to it so it has happened to me sometimes i'm like you know like having high fever and still i have perform because you can't let down the show show must go on <laughs> and so this is the other side the flip of the other co- yes. side of the coin they would yes. say which we would not know <laughs> for us it's all about you know it's like a tamasha that's about yeah, it because it's very important to keep your appointments because if you do you know back out from a one show, it goes and, and especially in colombo in sri lanka it's a very small community so if you like you know disappoint one designer they said oh my god don't take this model you you can't you know rely on her so then you will lose all the other jobs as well so it's very important to you know <laughs> work on time and to be there is there also a platform where some uh, a certain model really uh, show cases his or her capabilities where the international arena is open for a sri lankan model of course there are because even i worked in 2004 and 5 i worked in london for close models as a, a press like you know not the runway for magazines i shot and even it, it in, breaks into a, a different segments yes, isn't yes, it yeah because for runway you need a certain height and um, uh, but i have done international shows like you know indian fashion week and all and in 
A I work with a check the first lady's designer called Bertha Rajaska for the whole summer campaign we did that's why I said it's very important to connect internationally because that's what I said my students also whenever you go you know have your portfolio ready even if you're going on holiday the most closest uh, um, uh, agency if you can come just give your photo you never know where you're going to end up the industry is such yeah industry is such and you know and being sri lankans they love our color and you know the hair and the features sharp features so in in fashion it's always changing so they need to see you know different type of looks so most of the time our girls and boys do have a good uh, platform internationally but unfortunately they don't push it you know they always think no only the this fair looking doll and they looks they tend yeah. to uh, settle down only in the sri, sri lankan, lankan uh, yes. market yeah whereas there are opportunities yes Wonderful. We are in conversation with uh, Chua Padmendra Kumar Patirana talking more about the catwalks and portraits. A model should be tall and have a well-toned body. What sort of a healthy physical lifestyle do you suggest to continue a well-balanced body structure and to maintain that momentum to retain in this career? Well, uh, definitely a healthy diet, you know, whatever you're eating, you know. uh it has to be uh good like you know maybe fresh freshly cooked ones are the best sometimes even i miss those things but and maybe a yoga routine because flexibility is very important to a model so when they're walking and uh when you have even a posing sometimes you go and shoot in like outdoor places some you have to be like really flexible you don't know sometimes you might have to wear sports wear or like you know whatever the outfit you know you have to do the right thing to that outfit so to bring the best you have to be flexible and you know in 6 inches you have to do all these turns and uh, then uh, i think mainly i guess your uh, mental health no point in your working out or eating everything the best food under the plan i think having a good mental health matters because most of the time uh, we do with, with all these social issues and especially in sri lanka at the moment what's happening we tend to have a very uh, negative outlook in life so what we say is uh, in pictures when you go to shoot it it shows whether we like it or not you know the camera captures everything so even though you can uh, do editing and br- bring out the best skin or the color whatever but the mood you can't fix with the camera mood comes within you so mental health matters most of the time i think for any career so for a model to have a balanced diet balanced mental health and uh most time what i say is like you know before we go like you know i do a little prayer before a show or a, that's i think being connected with your religion whatever the religion you believe in it gives an energy to you so before any ram shows or whatever i take few minutes and i pray with the crew so those are the things i do day to day routines and have fun you know whatever you do you know enjoy and uh, be helpful most of the time you know when you help someone also it, it brings back and it, it gives another level of satisfaction so uh for models especially nowadays in sri lanka i i see it's it's very uh, sad situation because they tend to look at things as modeling in in a different way but it's it's actually a lot of hard work and a very respective career so only if you know how to get into the industry, industry yeah and also uh, and when it comes to since you're the, you're a veteran i can always throw in this question directly at you because do you see a marked difference between some who would like to do this as a freelance uh, opportunity but there are some models who have dedicated their entire life for this title per se so is there a difference between these two types of uh, models that you tend to see mm-hmm. well i see the freelancers they they do not take very serious you know after some time they they like you know you can see the you know the body shapes and how they give up whatever but if you see the professionals who are really worked hard they do maintain for a long time and it doesn't matter you know you you can be a professional or a freelancer it, it depends end of the day what i say is what makes you happy you do it so it's not easy surviving in our industry being you know it's very competitive every day there'll be a new face every day there'll be new designers and new outlook so you have to be very flexible to uh, 
get into whatever the this is a rapidly changing industry it's isn't it most, it's just like music like mm, you know mm. it's a fashion it goes hand in hand so like every day we'll see a new look and and it sometimes is really weird you know sometimes it doesn't suit you so then you have to just let it go okay <laughs> and you should able to uh, you know the lot of rejection like you said before you know most of the time you know all the designers don't want to use you so and being a professional sometimes it will for some girls do effect you know okay i'm a professional why can't they use me kind of a thing but i think end of the day what matters is you do your best sometimes every like you know it doesn't matter everyone doesn't have to choose you to be a professional model but you do you pick the best designers and you work with them but the freelancers uh thing is like you know when, when you uh like freelancers tend to do is you know they they take lot of any job because it doesn't matter because they are not planning to be a professional but when you're a professional you have to really pick and choose because you're planning a long year career so you can't mess up in between just inquiring does the model ever get an opportunity to discuss the outfit they are planning to wear of a designer maybe certain uh, outlooks uh, outfits rather doesn't really look that uh, glamorous on that particular chosen model do they have any kind of a freedom to voice their opinion well uh, if you're a professional like you know but i but i do uh, i tell my kids you know you have to know what you're going to wear you, mm. that is your right mm. because everyone have a human right exactly. if you don't want to wear it but don't go to the set and refuse it but exactly. as a professional you get it down whether you have to wear a swimsuit or whether you have to wear some avant-garde outfit you just first discuss and you have a choice of saying no but after you knowing what you're going to wear don't go to the set and say no that is very unprofessional but yes i think you know i like you know most of the designers are my friends so you know they know what is what suits me and what not but if you're working internationally professionally if the designers look is this and even if you personally don't like it but what i say you're getting paid and you just wear it and that is your job even though it's hideous to make it look like million dollars that's why they're hiring models that's so, the job that's your job so understood true enough contacts are of great importance in this field of industry where good communication and networking skills would be greatly helpful how do you strategize your business communication well i'm a good listener i first listen like you know what what they inquire like you know if they call you have a shoot this i will listen what they want and i will ask what is their target audience and you know whether i am the suitable model for that sometimes we do not fit into all the categories so then i will say whether that's fine or then i say maybe this is the other person i will always recommend someone else for that job and it's not all about the money and doing all the jobs it's having uh, right people you're working with and it's very important to choose what is right for you so uh, communication is very important to know like you know with the because sometimes this job must be not for you maybe the next job may be for you and very good listener and uh, i make sure that uh, most of my designers i work with i do my 100% to Uh, reach their goals and the main thing is to get them more clients they have already set a standard so they do know <laughs> yeah so and i do most of the time i work with uh, they are all like my friends like end of the day we have to be very hu- good human it's not only business so sometimes i do work foc also because i say okay don't worry you know you will uh, you know when you reach that point you can pay me but we'll do a good job and it's it's being human also that matters of course how can i forget the lady leader <laughs> episode where you rendered your services Thank absolutely you. free was, and that was a marvelous event altogether thank you sabrina but it was it was mar- like you know it was an amazing even for our kids to get you know more experience and being here at selbisi i think that's the first time they had a fashion show that's right and you know it's a very prestige moment for me in my life thank you so much sabrina for thank that thank you as well in return i'm in conversation with your padmendra kumar patel speaking about the catwalks and portraits on 11th r judgmental abilities would help the model in leading a model life uh, i'm certain uh, this is also to do with inspirational mentor where, uh, such as you how did you get about with this skill in setting a classic standard well being a mentor what i do is i think serving you know the upcoming kids 
with you know train them properly knowing the industry i do educate because it's it's not an easy, easy industry to survive and i think the other thing is what i see is i do connect with their talents most of the time and because they are they are very and uh, finding their talents and guiding them because some will be very good in acting sometimes a catwalk or sometimes for the pictures and so i mentor them with their best talent and the best other thing is i do is i i do uh serve them like you know sometimes like a service i do i think for a, to be a great mentor like you know worldwide we have seen serving it's not about money like i said before also and uh, whenever there are kids i do give them scholarships like you know most of the time I, like for a year i give like five uh, student scholarships so that what i say is okay after you get into a certain level you can pay me don't worry about it so come and get trained and be who you want to be in the industry and uh, learning and to them is teaching them good uh, morals and ethics it's very very difficult to find in nowadays in kids actually you know respecting even today we do respect our teachers like you know i have to mention lo ching wong and mr seneca de silva and even vasant and andre stefan because of my teachers only i am here today so without them and even all the photographers they like a you know, huge crew who have been behind me to make who i am today so i do you know teach my kids to respect your teachers and whoever have helped because it's it's not an easy journey coming alone and i do meant them to be uh, it's not about money all the time because do nowadays kids they tend to run behind money because of all these iPhones and the, the social media hype they make in all these things but end of the day what matters is values and friendships and the bonds and the family so i say you know do not do the wrong things to make money in a right way but it's very hard you know it's not an easy way to make right money in a right way good so it's i say temptations always rise but you in know in ethical way yeah earning in an ethical, ethical way, way so so i i do and so it's a complete package you offer isn't it <laughs> uh, cha because it's not only uh, about the industry knowledge that you share you're also teaching them how to be a good human being in the industry because it's a very uh, <laughs> if i would say it in a ordinary in an ordinary term it's a field where there's a lot of jealousy isn't it yes it is what i say is uh, well be happy they are jealous about it because you are doing something right because anyone who's a failure will not ever going to be jealous of that person so you know you you feel you know pity for you know just you know just pray for them that they'll get back in track and they will reach what they want because most time people are jealous when they do not reach and when they do not have right guidance in their life so pray that they get a good teacher yeah true guidance. enough so there are a lot of mushroom institutes which come up with all sorts of programs which we see also in social media promoting themselves and so on but it is end of the day developing a good product yeah. and that's what you're trying to really instill by being an inspirational mentor yes. am i right yes definitely because i actually hand pick my like you know most of the times we see these institutes they 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 have this new thing called anyone can become a model but which is not true because we all can't be doctors or lawyers or scientists certainly not not because the, for for any like you know any profession there are certain things that you have to fulfill so even modeling there are so i do not just get Excuse everyone Excuse me i'm giggling away because <laughs> even though i would love to be a ramp model but with my height it's a big no uh, no but do nowadays they do promote you know that i said it's all about personalities they promote even internationally i think the dolce and gabbana show they had plus size models they say but it, even for that you know you have to have you know you should be able to perform live you know sometimes you have all the looks you get beautiful girls but when it's come to do a runway show they are very scared of the audience so how much we train or whatever we do sometimes they like even if you have the looks looks they will say no so that's why i said like you know it, it is uh, take certain things to become a model or any profession so we have to respect that so i hope you know whoever doing all these things and brainwashing these innocent kids will stop because actually it's damaging it's like our true. industry 
It's True. not nice. It's not right because even if you Google and see all these pictures, it's hilarious and it's not good to the country because when the time you know because Sri Lanka do have a nice, good fashion industry with good talented, humble, is a humble and you know a pleasing industry. True. Pleasing industry. And when you Google and when this when you say Sri Lankan fashion industry or Sri Lanka's biggest fashion show, when these really you know costumes pop up, they think that re- we are like not even laid back. Like we don't have a taste or a class kind of a thing. So I really hope, you know, the authorities really do something about this. And whoever who wants to get into this industry will be very wise enough to yeah. do their research yeah. before they get into yeah, anything. Definitely. True enough. So this would be my final question, Chichira. Considering that one possesses all the essential qualities to venture into this industry as a model by choosing this as a career, What's next? Where to begin? These are the questions that can arise. And that's why you have set up a solid platform, which is a training academy for future models to be. So tell us more about this. Yeah, uh, Chulpad Mendra Catwalk Studio. It was established in 2009, but I did take a break for six years because of my son. So I trained at Western Province Aesthetic Resort on Saturdays, and I do individual classes. What we train is a catwalk and how to pose, how to face uh, auditions, and from their nutrition, fitness, and how to maintain a portfolio. Then we do get the students to go and meet the uh, these all advertising agents and their uh, and designers, the hairdressers. So what I say is upcoming models, you know, just do a research before you choose your teacher because there are lots of con artists in our industry at the moment who they are for a quick money and which will you'll end up paying with your reputation and I tell parents especially parents watch out for your kids do check what they're doing whenever you know this industry is good you know you can make good money in the right way but in the meantime you know you have plus and minuses in any industry of course so and and just check you just google and see how long they have been in the industry what they have done and always i say if they say even if you're going for a screen test or something they say come alone i'm telling parents if they ask your son or the daughter to come alone please go with them because i don't think if there's any good place is doing all these things they will restrict the parents not to come like you know tell not why to, not why not because that's your child and you have all the right to be next I to mean, that if you are doing something yeah. so transparently yeah, so transparent so that is very important so you know modeling and fashion shows or shoots whatever can you know do it any time but when it's come to safety i you know that's why i always because that's where we have gone to this level sometimes they say our modeling our don't go this is what happens because of some people, some people who have yeah. navigated themselves into a different path exactly so it's not a it's not so it's our duty to safeguard our kids after something happens it's no point in complaining to the and uh, blame in the industry industry and the organizers this is what happened and this is not a you know they knew caterers a whole lot into that side but uh, so that's human nature that's human nature so watch and it's uh, if you want to be a professional model make sure that you are ready to fail numerous times because sometimes you do get reject but that doesn't mean that you're not good model but you know you have to keep on working towards your goal you just got rejected for that project, project only. only yeah because a lot of kids they get very disheartened the first time when they go for a screen test or an audition when they get rejected they're like okay this is not for me but definitely you work hard know your uh, minus points and work on it and definitely you will reach your goal do you have any incidents where you can relate oh yeah yeah of course because there are certain when we started like you know it's all about fair skin and exactly like, you know like very dull looking models they look look out for then like no, there are certain things Ani may you know she have dark skin no it doesn't work whatever I said ah, it's okay you do not have a dark skin though, but, uh, <laughs> tan, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's a beautiful tan <laughs> thank you but then again it's that <laughs> yeah that, that glow, glow. <laughs> let's <laughs> say it that way <laughs> so yeah I have been rejected in few and like you know so what what matters is I never gave up that's what matters so till you reach your where you want to be you just work towards and sometimes you know you lose something and you get a better choice like you know better designer working with you in a different project which has happened to me 
like sometimes we have to let go of some things because it doesn't suit us Correct. and like in the movies you know even though I was a model I, I was offered few movies but those characters did not you know suited me and you know certain things i have to do to be in the character which personally i didn't like so i thought okay have no. you seriously looked into acting i have done few teledramas and the movie i did a movie but they could not release because they didn't get permission well then i was like uh, it's very it's very nice industry but it's very hard work and it just not my kind of a thing you know it's all about this romantic like i'm more into action thing like you know just like kill bill and like charlie's angels that those kind of movies doesn't happen in sri lanka so <laughs> maybe one day <laughs> maybe one day yeah uh, sad to wrap it up but then again establishing oneself as a model in this so called modeling career requires time and discipline being a model involves hyper focus on your appearance beauty is subjective but however you can reflect confidence in your body language which can affect how other people perceive you we were in a beautiful conversation talking about the catwalks and the portraits with chulapad bendra kumar patrana today on 11th hour thank you so much for coming over thank you sabrina thank you sabesi for having me it was a fantastic interview thank you so much and wishing you success for your upcoming event uh, which would be your academy awards night yes gram comes alive wishing you success always and i'm sabrina zawai signing off and 11th hour on radio sri lanka illustrates the rediscovery of the glitz and the glam of the nation's most prominent entertainers and eminent personalities from the corporate sector join us every monday at 11 exclusively on radio sri lanka